welcome back to another video and today I'm going to be showing you 10 ways to hide your chest in Minecraft. So this chest can be for any purpose, diamonds, gold, iron, anything, any of your valuable valuables in Minecraft. Now one of the ways is a really clever way. Um, yeah, you need free snow, a minecart of chest, whatever bl block of your choice and a minecart of chest. I'm hoping this will work. No, it does not. Well, that was a failure. Well, I know one way that will work, and it is this. So, um, block of your choice. Uh, um, make a wall, any type of wall. And you want to leave a corner like this. So, um, probably just have like something like this. So something that looks ordinary you know in the house maybe um and you just have to have a corner now what you do in this corner is you place down a rail and you place your mine cart in it and what you can do is, is i think you can just barely click on it and yeah so that's works so um basically what it is is the old corner of the house trick so basically what you do is, is you just get your mine cart make a corner like so place a rail in the middle and then you'll have your minecart so that's all you have to do and then you can just go into the corner click and you have your minecart and you can put whatever value valuables you want in it now another way i'm not sure if it works or if it doesn't all i know is it might work i'm just gonna have to do some research and i'll be back with you guys to see if this way does work Alright guys, I'm back. I did find out and this way it does work. So, um, yeah, let's get to it. All, we, all you need to do is, is you need trapdoors. Wooden trapdoors, iron, whatever. I would advise wooden. And you want to place them like this. So it's one on that side, one on that side. And all you're going to want to do is, is you want to place a block here and um get your painting and no wait shift click and painting and now what you can do is, is when people are in a rush look you can't get into it but if you go through the middle you can so like in those adventure maps when people are in a rush and they're just like doing this they'll go straight past it without even noticing so you could just cover this up with a bunch of different paintings of your choice make it look ordinary wall of paintings for the same and then you can just walk through it but you have to go through exactly the middle otherwise this will not work as you can see if I'm trying to go on the side like you normally can so you can't can't do that I'm going forward you can't you have to go exactly through the middle see look even now I'm not going through it but there we go and then you can just place your chest down and then put whatever valuables you want in that chest so yeah, that's one of the ways, and yeah, so that's the the secret painting way. Just take out the painting in the middle. You can see how easily this is done. Just two trap doors, chest, and a secret room, and a couple more paintings, and you're good to go. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. All right, guys, welcome back. Um, this trap, I mean this secret way, is called misleading door. So you can just have anything you want. For this, I'm just going to use stone. Um, so you just can have a room just an ordinary room you know not too special and you're going to want to have a um basically a, a room so um what you do is is you have um say a storage room so you're gonna you're gonna want to make the room shape a bit like this and you're gonna want to place your wait no a shape like this can pause it now if you want to copy this and you want to place a door like so so i'm just going to use this door and you have to make sure it is facing this way oh god right so basically you want to make sure it is, goes inwards like that not outwards to the right but to the left depending on what way you're facing so it's like that and basically what you want to do is you want to place your chest here 
Now this might not seem very secretive, but trust me, it does work with a lot of people. So if someone comes in, say you had a smelting room, for instance, all they would see is when they open the door, all they would see, as you can see, all they can see is the furnaces. So say I'm just coming in, I'm saying I'm I'm someone's friend trying to troll them, trying to rob their house, and they see this. It says furnace room. They walk in, and all they see is a bunch of furnaces, and they walk out and shut the door. But what you can do is, is um, you can open the door, stay inside, and you'll have your chest. And because the people are too concentrated on what's in front of them, they won't have time to stop and look behind the door unless they're clever and smart asses. So that's one of the ways. It's quite a unique way. It's got a unique shape to it. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next part. Alright guys, so for this one, this is number four. And really, this is really simple. So I call this the misleading chest. So all you see is... Um, just one chest you could probably have your junk in it whatever you want but some people might not realize some might but most of the time people don't realize that if you just get it right there's a chest underneath which you can open it you can have whatever of your valuables you want and basically all you do is just place a double chest shift click and place two more chests above and you just have to get it right to open it and that is another way called the misleading chest on to the next part so guys welcome back for this part, all you're going to need is a hoe of any choice, a rail and a minecart with a chest. It will not work with a chest. So, um, all you have to do is, is, you just have some normal grass here. And all you're going to want to do is, um, break the block. So, you have two blocks and it has to be made out of grass to hoe. So, uh, you have your rail with a chest and you just place your minecart. Now, um, you can, there is a way you can, I think, open it without going into a block. No, you can't. So you can't open it. As you can see, like for the first one, you can go into the corner and you can open it. And well, for this one, you can't. But the way you can is just you hoe, you hoe the bottom part. And if you ha look, put your cursor into the black part of where it's hoed, you just open, you right click, and you can open your chest. Now, to hide the evidence, you just trample on it, and it was like nothing has ever happened. So this is one of my f one of the favourite ways I like doing because it's really secretive and it can be really anywhere you want. And yeah, on to the next part. Right, guys, um, welcome back to the next part. And this is number wait one two <laughs> one two one two three four five. This is number six, and this is um the redstone update. So um, this one is actually quite clever. So you're just walking around and you're in your mine. And you're like, just imagine this was all covered with stone. And you're like, oh, and you decide to hit it, and that opens up. You can just do it again, and you have to wait for that to go out. But if you just did see there, all you have to do, all you have to do to reset it is put that there. As you can see, when you hit the redstone it will actually open the chest and you have to be so good with your timing so like um, just move the sticky piston out of the way so as you can see if you um, activate this redstone up here then this redstone that will come down and you can open your chest as you can see though you have to be extremely quick with your timing and you cannot miss a little bit but to lengthen it you can actually um you can um make so to so uh, to increase the time you can um increase the repeater length so um basically all this is is because if you hit a redstone block it generates a current so um if say um I put that there um when it, it push it generates a and current pushing this activating that pushing that back activating these repeaters then activating this redstone torch which activates this piston underneath this redstone to pull it down 
and that is simply all it is it is not much and i'll show you how to build it right now so we're going to want a four by four so um I made it a six because I thought it would be a lot easier. And yeah, this is all you're gonna want to do. So to start off with, you're gonna want to go. Um, so you're gonna pay, make sure you know where your wall is gonna be. So, so there you guys, you can see it just reset because it's not activated anymore. So um, I'll just quickly show you. So you just hit it. Act, you can access your chest. Put your stuff in. And it was like nothing was ever there. And you have to. The problem is, is though, um, you have to wait for this to go. So if you do it with a normal repeater, like just just once, then it will it will go too quick for your reaction. Like unlike some people, some people are really good. So um, all you're gonna want to do is just make this wall um, four four high, like so. And yeah, so like that. Then one way you want to place two redstone like so. Then on onto that redstone, you hold that, shift click redstone block. Then um, she needs to go back and check. Yes, and under it you place a under it you place a redstone redstone. Redstone, um, oh god, I can't speak. Redstone, uh, redstone dust, sorry. And then under this, you want to place a redstone torch. So it just does that. Then from that, you want to come to out like so. I can build into here because it's not going to affect it. So you want to place t from this part here, I'll just let you pause to see. From this part here, in the middle between the redstone block and this piston facing right you want to place two repeaters facing forwards and turn around and place two repeaters facing backwards so it goes in a loop and then you want to put them set them all to the maximum tick so like that then you want to go one two three so you want to break it like this and under that you want to place redstone so it's like this so from a torch, break one down, redstone, break one more down beside it, and place two like that. Then once you've done that, um, I think, uh, leave that, come back down, play, destroy it, come back, so it looks like this. Just pause it so you guys can catch up. I remember under there, there is a redstone, tool, um, redstone dust. You come back down here, destroy this, and place a, a redstone torch on the back block, not on the bottom there. So it looks like that. So then you want to place a sticky piston. Not a piston, a sticky piston. Then on that, you want to place your redstone ore. Now, if you want to do this to achieve this redstone ore in survival, you have to have a silk touch pickaxe, if you didn't know. Then all you're going to want to do is you just want to place this block onto the side of the redstone dust then place a chest there and that is it it is extremely simple hardly anything is required and it is a really easy way to way to hide your chests and yeah so you can just fill this up and then you're just walking down the mine you see this and no one else will know just do that uh, uh, it's not working and you do that it just opens and I've done something wrong right um, I've done something wrong haven't I? oh yes I've just run in but guys you have to place a block there you have you have to place that block there you have to so underneath this piston if you can see here underneath this piston you have to place the block otherwise this system will not work and yeah that is simply just one of the really easy redstone ways to do it and all you do is you just hit it it opens you can get your chest put whatever valuables you want in it and it's shut like nothing was ever there that is number 
number was that? That is number six. Number six. Okay, on to part seven. Right, guys. Um, back. I found another way. So, um, another way. Number eight is to. All you have to do is simply. This is called the lava pit. All you have to do is dig a nine, a three by three hole, so nine blocks in total. And in, in the middle one, dig one more down. And that hole is where you're going to place your chest, so like so. And then all you're going to want to do is place your lava around it. Just to make it not look too suspicious. Um, I just screwed up. Right. Alright. So, it looks normal. You know, it's called dangerous pit. You wouldn't do anything. Just look in the middle. And you can just open it. Shift and open. Or you can just look it, open it. Put your valuables in it. Walk off, you know. And people wouldn't dare to go in it because it's lava. You will die. I mean, unless you're a real adventurer, then whatever. <laughs> and yeah, that is number eight. And number nine and number ten are in this video. So I've put some chests secretly in this video. And you're going to have to find them yourself. So yeah, number ten is to how to in a YouTube video. So if you do have your own YouTube account and do a video like mine, then you can... Uh, obviously well will put it in the YouTube video I secretly I've taken the chest out now so I can just um, go over them but as I was making two of these I did hide the chest in the background I don't know if you guys saw them I need to fix this just for a second but yeah so yeah I'll just go over them all again so for the for the first one it was the corner chest so just click the corner of your room you open a minecart the next one is a painting one, so the paint tall, too tall painting will be here. You can't go from it from the sides like so, but you have to go from it through the middle. So like, like this, like this, and you just go through the painting, and you have your valuables. And I did have a painting there a minute ago, but for some reason it just disappeared. Um, here is the despicable door. So just open the door. There's only like anything there apart from the furnaces. So someone will just shut it and walk off, but if you're smart, you will shut it and you would see the chest. Because of the way the door opens, it covers it when you open it, so you can't see it. The next one is, is well, the very easy to spot one, but it's pretty simple, pretty pretty easy and pretty effective. Just a chest under a chest. So say this is your junk storage, no one will really care. Underneath that junk storage, though, is your valuable storage. Pretty easy. All you have to do is just shift click on top of the bottom chest and yeah the next way you're going to need a hoe like so that rhymes hoe the ground look in the black spot place the minecart in and put your valuables in the chest and to hide the evidence trample on the dirt and it will just be like nothing ever happened the next one is the underground update and all you have to do is right click the top redstone Enter the chest, put in your valuables, and it will shut like nothing's ever happened. So it opens and it shuts. And all you have to do, as you can hear, it, re it resets. And then for the last one, is the lava chest. So just look in the middle, right click, and you'll get your chest. And then you can just shut it, shut it and no one will dare go in because it's lava. Um, these are really simple ways and I put in two of the chests in two of the ways to make these so in the background um, Yeah, I'm not gonna give you any hints you have to find it out yourself But yeah, thank you guys for watching. Please leave a like down below if you did enjoy this video Please subscribe for more Content and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye